Hi and welcome to this Tasks app for Zendesk demo video where we're going to be talking about what the Tasks app can do. Uh, if you've never installed an app from the Zendesk Marketplace, uh, you can do that by going to zendesk.com slash apps. Uh, just do a search for Sweethawk um, and then you'll be able to find our Tasks app like so. Okay, so let's jump into the demo. Um, for starters, what the, the, the Tasks app can help you do is to create checklists on the fly and then save them for reuse. Uh, so here we are on a ticket. You can see on the right hand side, I'm going to type out my list here, assess job, create quote, uh, receive PO number, whatever the task list is. Um, now if it's a task that you find yourself typing time and time again, uh, then you can uh, save them for reuse. Uh, for, here, for example, here we've got a site installation task list that we're adding um, and uh, you know we can start checking these uh, items off like so. So then we've got a little bit of control around what we can do with those tasks in the task app as well. So let's talk about that. Uh, so you can see here that I can move my tasks around simply by dragging and dropping them. Now if I've added a task list or multiple task lists, I can contract them and expand them uh, with the little arrow on the right hand side. And um, if I need to write notes or um, provide more information about how a task needs to be completed for my agents, uh, then uh, I can provide a link to external documentation. Um, and another thing you can do based on uh, you know, task lists that you've added, you can predefine tags. So uh, here I've checked off um, a, a, a task and uh, predefined the tag. Uh, products received to automatically be added to the ticket at the point that that task is checked off. Now, this is really powerful because it taps into Zendesk triggers, uh, which is the engine uh, of Zendesk, um, and allows you to do all this manner of different workflow based on uh, one or multiple tasks being checked off. For example, you could create a trigger that says when a ticket is updated and contains the tag product receive, then add the next task list escalate the ticket to a, uh, a manager, uh, assign the ticket to somebody else. Whatever you need to do as part of your workflow, but that tagging uh, is basically tapping into a world of, of workflow. Okay, so that's what the app does on the surface, but where the real power of the app comes in is around uh, sub-ticketing. So any task within a, a checklist can be converted into a sub-ticket. Um, so uh, as you can see here, um, uh, there's there's a link between the two tickets. So let's have a look at how sub tickets get created um, in action. Uh, for example, we've got our site installation task lists here, and we're just going to click convert to new ticket on the site audit. Um, and then uh, in the you know this ticket here, we can kind of set all of the details that we want about. Uh, the site auditor that's going to be on site and it, and it basically gives us a um, a way of uh, having a conversation outside the flow of the original conversation. Maybe we don't want the requester knowing about the, our conversation with the site auditor. Uh, you know, that's that's kind of what you can do here. And you can see there's a link to the parent ticket and vice versa, there's a link to the child ticket as well, like so. But note that this task can't be just checked off like these other ones anymore. The status of a sub ticket is linked to the status of the ticket. So if I mark the ticket as uh, solved like so, over on the parent ticket, we are to see that that uh, takes place and the task automatically gets checked off. Now you, you can make it so that um, a, a ticket cannot be uh, completed or so marked as solved uh, until all of the tasks and sub tickets uh, completed on it as well. So you can mandate kind of process for your agents to follow. Um, but that's a, a setting that you can turn off or on. It's up to you. Okay, so next, uh, what, let's talk about, uh, you know, you saw us creating a sub ticket, but you can also predefine what that sub ticket looks like. So let's go back to that side audit ticket uh, that we did before. And we'll be able to see that I can convert this to a new ticket like I did before, but rather than clicking on new ticket over here, I can just click on the template that we've created for site auditing and uh, instead of a, going to a new ticket, it just goes and creates that ticket. We can see here, it's got a link to it. So now we can check out what's happened. And you can see that 
you know, there's a yeah, there's a link to the between the tickets again, but uh, the, the the subject line description have been preset, um, and all of the uh, the, uh, the the t- ticket fields have been copied across from the parent ticket. Uh, so quite handy there. Um, and then you, you know you can take that automation to the next level as well, uh, and not just only have uh, kind of uh, predefined sub tickets when you when you want to add them on an ad hoc basis, but you can predefine the whole process. For example, here we are, have um, a new hire uh, starting with the company, and um, based this ticket has not not been created yet, so we're just creating this ticket. Uh, from an agent's perspective, now it doesn't matter how this ticket got create, gets created. It could be an agent, it could be a, a, a an end user, somebody um, within another department that doesn't have access to Zendesk submitting it through your help center. Uh, regardless of how the ticket gets created, you can set up triggers to say, well, based on these conditions, we want the task list to be added. Uh, so we're just going to click on to create the ticket now, and in doing so. You know, to see that this ta- uh, task list has auto- been automatically been added for the new hire, um, and two tickets are being spun up automatically as well uh, for different things that need to be happening in different parts of the business based on that new hire. For example, the documentation ticket here, you can see that the subject line's been preset, the description, uh, ticket fields, um, and uh, more interestingly, this sub ticket has its own task list. And there's nothing to say that this sub ticket couldn't have its own sub tickets, and those ticket sub tickets couldn't have their own sub tickets. So you can st- start to see the time-saving uh, potential of what the task app can can do if you've got uh, reasonable sized projects that uh, you, you you know even large projects that you know uh, what's going to happen, <clears throat> you can essentially create hundreds of tasks over tens of tickets with the click of a finger or you you know or build it into your ticket process. That's quite uh, a handy uh, little thing there. Now, uh, let's jump over into um, our help desk over here and look at how easy it is to actually create a task list. Um, and uh, then automatically apply a task list based on uh, conditions. Okay, so we've got an onboarding ticket so here, so we want to kind of add tasks for this, uh, for, for this ticket um, to, to, to have our customer onboarded. Uh, now, rather than typing them all out manually, we want to create a task list over here for that uh, that's going to appear in this list over here. So let's go into the task app on the left-hand side here and we can go to uh, task lists, and then I can go add task lists, and we can go call it uh, client onboarding. Um, and then, uh, you know, uh, uh, one setting that you can turn on here, which we'll do right now, is to make it an automatic uh, task list. And what that means is that uh, you can, you're allowed to create a Zendesk trigger that applies the task list based on conditions, which you'll see in a sec. So I'm gonna click OK here, and because I checked automatic, I can now create a trigger. But before I do that, I'm going to add some tasks to this. Um, so you can see when I go into the task list, there's no tasks at the moment. So uh, I can type in a task like so and create that one by one. Uh, when I create each task, I can put in other things like the notes, a link to external documentation. Um, I can uh, select a ticket template. That's where the uh, sub tickets are predefined uh, if I add this task list um, and I can choose to add or define my tag here based on this task. However, rather than um, typing this out one by one, I'm going to bulk edit my tasks here. So I've got a predefined list that I'm going to copy and paste like so. And now we have a task list ready to rock and roll. Okay, so back in our task list over here, we are to see that we've now got nine tasks. Um, now what I want to be able to do is, uh, well, let's, let's just uh, show you that task list in action. We've just created the task list, so I can check that off like so, and bang, that task list is now um, able to be added to any ticket that I deem um, that it should be part of. Okay, so let's talk about how to automatically add this task list to a ticket. So back in the task app, we've got this button to create a trigger to automatically do that. So I'm going to do that. 
And that's uh, gone and created the trigger. Um, now, it's a trigger that's never going to fire um, until you edit it. Uh, okay, so if I click on to go into this trigger, we'll see that the conditions for when this trigger fires um, is the ticket is updated and the tags contains one of the following task test list. Like I said, you're probably never going to add that task a tag to the ticket, um, but it's good if you wanted to just test it out. Um, but you know, this is where you can re well, triggers being the engine of Zendesk. You're tapping into uh, that kind of vast amount of uh, capability. So you can create any condition as to what you want. For example, maybe I don't care about the tag. Uh, maybe I want it to be when the ticket is created and the form is, uh, say, onboarding, like so. Um, then, based on that, we can see the actions. I'm removing uh, the tag, that the test tag, which we don't need to do because we're not um, checking for it. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, checking for it anymore anyway. Um, and our action is to notify a target. Basically, that's saying to uh, Sweet Hawk servers, hey, add the client onboarding uh, task list that we just created and clicked on to create this trigger. So now we can save that and test it out. So I'm going to create a test ticket. So we'll just give it test, test, and choose the onboarding uh, task list down here. And then I can submit this as new and you'll be able to see that the onboarding task list automatically gets applied. So very easy, no coding required to be able to create those conditions as to when task lists get added. Uh, yeah, very simple to do. Um, and the last thing uh, you may uh, be wondering about is how these uh, tasks can automatically be turned into sub-tickets. Now, yes, like I said, showed before, you can convert it to new ticket and click on uh, to create a new ticket here. But how does the templating work? Well. Over in the task app, there's a ticket templates section. And one of those tasks in that onboarding task list is around training. Um, we've predefined a ticket template here. Um, so I'll just show you uh, what this looks like in action. Um, we've got our training session. It's essentially the same as you know filling out a Zendesk macro. You're just predefining details about what you want that ticket to be. With the added a functionality of being able to copy things from the parent ticket. For example, here we're setting the requester to be rather than a specific requester, we're setting them to be same as the parent or the type rather than setting a specific type, uh, we're setting it to be same as parent. In fact, any ticket field, uh, even custom fields, you can uh, define uh, that you know the, those fields are going to be copied from the parent ticket. Um, it's up to you. And uh, yeah, when you, once you've filled out your uh, ticket template, you can apply it to any task uh, either manually or you can apply it to a task within a task list. And the way that we do that is over here, we've got our on-site training as part of the client onboarding and success. If I click on that, I can choose my template here. I'm gonna choose the uh, one for training, like so, update the task, and now, if I was to uh, create a new uh, test uh, ticket for onboarding, like so, this time when we uh, create this ticket, it's going to not only add the task list, like so, it's going to convert the on-site training task into a sub-ticket uh, which we'll be able to see like so. Now it hasn't pulled up much information across uh, because we didn't fill out any information on the uh, the, the original parent ticket, uh, but you can see that's uh, how, how to do that. So no, no coding required in order to uh, com, you know specify uh, ticket templates as well. So all in all, uh, quite a, a smooth and easy app to use um, and to, to set up these uh, potentially quite uh, vast and complex uh, and powerful workflows. Uh, so that is an overview uh, or an, a, a demo of what the task app can do. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, uh, email us at support at sweethawk.co.